Hello, this is Perry Pencil, and today I'm gonna to show you how to draw Hey Arnold. Let's go ahead and put a border right before the edge of the page. Divide your page in half with a vertical line and let the line go off the bottom of the page. Please help me get 50 likes and 30 comments for these how to draw videos. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, with Hey Arnold, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off about half the page down and we're just gonna draw an arc just like this. And just to see if it's as even as possible, let's check it with the center line in my thumb, index finger and thumb. Let's go over and yes, that's good. And once you have this arc in place, what you wanna do at that point is you wanna come down a little bit and let's go ahead and put his ears in. So draw an oval shape right here and then put an oval shape on the left side. Once you've got that completed, it's not gonna be an, e an arc like you see here, but it's gonna be a slight curve that goes straight across like this. Okay, now once you have this shape, we're gonna go ahead and let's put his neck in. For his neck, it's literally two lines that come and meet at a point on an angle just like this. And you can close it off with a little curve like this. Now, off of the center line, the next thing we're gonna do is come up a little bit and we're gonna put his nose in and it's actually at the letter C. And you're gonna come around just like this. And then stop. And to check it, the edge of his nose kind of comes over right to the same, right at the end of his neck right here. So the way I've measured it is the end of his nose comes right to uh, right where this neckline comes in. Center is here and the other side is on the other side of this line here. Now, once you've completed that, we're gonna go ahead on and work on uh, his eyes. Now with his eyes, you wanna come all the way to the end just about and stop here and we're gonna put his eyes in as eyes is half an oval shape so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come around like this it's not a circle shape but in more of like an oval shape now once you've done that we put the center of his eye in just like this okay now let's come over to his left side. And the difference between the left side is that it's just above where the arc is. You wanna come down a little bit. And the way I've measured, measured it, his left eye is slanted slightly. So let's go ahead and slant that. And you can have that line coming in and it's just bef before you get to the top part of his head here. And we do the same thing. You have uh, a half oval shape that comes around just like this. And then you can put his, the middle center of his eye in. Okay. Now the next part is gonna be his mouth. He has a smirk that goes to his left side. So right below his eye here, you wanna put a smirk here, like an arc for a smirk, and then have it come just like this. But be careful, you don't wanna come uh, close to this line and let these two lines touch but it's just above that. And you stop it right there. It doesn't come over to the center line, nowhere near that. Right here is good, just below this eye, the left eye. Now, we can go ahead and put the center of, uh, the center of his ears in. It's simply a curve that goes like this, and then a curve that goes like that. So it's one, two. And do the same thing for his right side. Have the curve come in like this, and it's gonna come down like this. Let's get the top of his ear drawn in here. All right, so now we have his head done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and move up. Now his hat is actually on the same axis as this line that I have drawn here. And it, t it just touches the center line. So you wanna have an arc that goes around 
and comes over like this. So it's more on the left side of his head than it is the right side of his head. And then you wanna bring that curve above this line here. So where this arc comes in here, you wanna bring this curve above here. And the top portion of the hat, baseball cap is gonna come up and it's gonna go over and it's gonna stop because his hair is gonna cut that off. So we're gonna put a, a center line for the baseball cap here. Now we're gonna move to the hair. For the hair, we're gonna start off right above the ear and we're gonna put the edge of his hair right here. And the arc follows his ear, it comes out a little bit. And then we got a line that comes back in like this. Now, once you've established this, let's go ahead and jump on the right or left side and do the same thing, have it come out. It's gonna come past like this and it's gonna go up like this. Now, you wanna take your pencil and draw a line that comes out almost to the edge, but not quite and around like this. So we can kind of get an understanding of where, how far his hair should come out and do the same thing for his left side. Almost touch the edge of it, but not quite and bring it up. Now from the center line or right next to his hat, his hair comes up and it curves over. And what we wanna do is we wanna reach the top of this line right here where we have this curve, have these two meet and bring this curve down like this. Now we can go ahead and do the rest of his hair. So there's a line that comes in like this and then the second part of his hair comes out like this. So you wanna come back and arc this out. Then you wanna come in again and down and then come out and almost touch the edge of the page if you, if you have to then come back in. I'm gonna come out one more time and notice I'm following the arc that I've already, that we you know, have put in place. And then the final one connects here. All right. Now for the left side, it comes up and it arcs over. And just like we did with the right side, we're gonna do the same thing with the left side is meet that arc. You wanna come in and come back out. You wanna come in, it's only four on this side and five on the other side. You wanna come down and you wanna come in one more time. Right now he has lines that comes just under here. And you got one line here and beneath that he has another one and he has a third one that comes down like this. And there's only two on the left side and it's just beneath this here. So you put a line here and it's just below this one. So you want to come in here like this. Now, we can go ahead and move down to uh, where he wears a shirt and have a collar. For this, you can just draw a simple circle. After you've drawn a circle, go ahead and darken in the line and then stop it here. His collar is in the, in the shape of a circle. So that's the best way to follow it and get the collar in. If you notice here, I have the indication of the circle drawn here. After that, his shoulders are slanted or sloped, so they just come down. You got that go off the page. Do the same thing for his left side, okay? And then there's two arms for his line. Excuse me, two lines for his arms, and they align uh, approximately about where his collar starts. So you could just put his arms, let him go off the page like this. All right. If you're drawing along with me up to this point. I'm going to erase unwanted lines and go ahead and if you'd like to take a look at it at the end, you may pause it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing this round button at the bottom. 
Also, click on one of the two top videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. Perry Pencil.